We have a family group of six bush dogs. We have Dad Simon, Mum Lola and four puppies which were born in May of this year. Um, it's a very interactive group, uh, very social. We're believing that she is pregnant. Um, she doesn't let any of the others get any of the food. Uh, we have to give her extra food to make sure she has enough because obviously she's growing anything up to about five puppies inside her. So they sometimes get a lot more aggressive and more protective, um, maybe more sleepy, um, especially like Lola and that. Um, she'll like not come out very much. Um, she'll start getting more greedy as well. In the wild, they would take a lot of small rodents, but they will also have known to take capybara, uh, animals as big as tapirs. Obviously, we can't go feeding them to our animals, um, but we feed like sort of rabbits, squirrels, quails, big legs of cow and horse meat, in which we do cut bits off and give to them. Simon does a hell of a lot of digging in sort of like preparation for the puppies coming. When um, Lola's pregnant, he'll go on a big digging frenzy. Um, and yeah, and make loads of holes everywhere, just trying to find the perfect den and that for um, for the pups to, to go in. He sort of actually follows them everywhere, make, keeping them in check. Um, you would always expect the mum to be the protective one. Uh, when we've always found with the puppies, when it's come to catching further inoculations, Simon's always been the last one that we've been able to separate from them. We get a lot of it around the feed, and um, we give them tracks to follow through. Uh, the enclosures. Um, we do smelly enrichments with our intrepid explorers and our younger kids groups. Puppies seem to be playing in and around the water on a daily basis. Uh, we do see them go across a log and then three of them try and push past and two of them end up falling in. You hear a splash and you see a little puppy swimming across. I'm quite lucky I only have two children. Simon has four to look after and when all four puppies go off in different directions you can sort of see that panic on his face. I like I wish I had more arms and you have that with kids. He's very supportive. Um, I know it's not a word but he's an amazing dad with the kids. Even though this is my third child, it's still nerve-wracking. Um, it's a new, it's always a new experience. It definitely has changed me. Um, I've obviously, before babies, you only have to think about yourself, and you have to think about everybody else now. And then, as my family's growing, uh, I've got a stepson, and I, th I worry about him, and I worry about Andy, I worry about Isabel, I worry about just found out that it's a little boy. And that's going to be different for me because I've never had a boy before. Um, so it's made me more like prepare for things more and more definitely more organised and definitely more stressed. <laughs> but I love it and I wouldn't change it for the world.